What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I got this slick wrap skin for this Microsoft Surface Pro. So here is my Microsoft Surface Pro 7. I think it's actually the same physical size as the 6, other than a little bit of difference in the ports. And this skin that I picked up is actually from Slick Wraps, and they aren't inexpensive, but I would really like skins because they don't add any bulk to your devices really i mean in any practical way they really dress it up they prevent scratches and scuffing and things like that they don't protect anything from dents per se because uh, an impact will kind of go right through the skin slick wraps but this one was really interesting to me and this blue color kind of uh you know was a little copacetic to the the type cover here but what's really cool is this honeycomb pattern you can see here i think they do call it the blue honeycomb skin and they are slightly raised. There's a little lined texture inside and it might be a little hard to see here, but kind of the way the material is, the individual honeycomb cells have a little bit of a different sheen depending on the light. Now, they aren't actually different colors. That kind of would be kind of interesting. But there, if, I, if you get it with the light just right, it kind of, you can see how uniform it is. But just those little differences give it kind of this pixelated look. Now, you can see that it'll fit on the back here. We also have panels for the sides, even the bottom, um, but although just on the edge where the keyboard won't meet. But the sides and everything should be covered up, and so I think that should look pretty good. Now, there is no cutout up here, as far as I can tell, for the Microsoft logo, so you're gonna hide that. But I think we should get this installed and see what it looks like. Now. I don't see any squeegees or anything. So what I can tell you is that I'm just going to basically do this. Well, nope, this is a sticker. Uh, I just kind of line things up as best I can. Um, and then I usually pull away a corner like this and then I uh, anchor it and put that down and then kind of pull away the backing. So that's what I'll do. So I'm going to stop here for a second because I want to show you two things. One, first of all, it's cut here because of the way the kickstand is. So it's going to come out as two pieces, which is going to allow you to apply this kind of as two separate pieces, which is nice. Um, but it means you're going to have to line up the second piece again. So, I mean, there's it's going to be like applying two skins to most uh, devices. Now, you can see I have this little wrinkle here, but I will say that the glue or the adhesive on the back side isn't that sticky so you can peel it up and kind of work those out and put them back down which is kind of nice so let's get it done all right guys and what you can see is i've got a little raised edge here and i can just kind of work it out you want to work out from the center out and that's it now i haven't put on the sides yet because that's going to be a little bit more detail work and i thought i would do that off camera but i will just tell you that i really like this now you could kind of line up where the kickstand meets that seam a little bit better but you can see you're going to need a little bit of space um even if it's pretty close it looks like they don't touch there which is actually pretty nice so I might uh, do a little fixing on that but man that looks great I, I really love this pattern like i said it provides oh you know it kind of provides a little more grippy texture which is going to be nice for holding it and the other thing is that it's just going to create it uh, a layer of protection for all those little scuffs and things that you get from you know putting it down on tables when you put something on top of it you putting it in and out of a book bag or a backpack and so it really keeps that nice finish on the metal. And look at that texture. I just love that. That is really, really cool. So uh, slickwraps.com is where I pick this up. You can pick these up on Amazon as well. And there's probably a lot of other skins that have a little bit of this relief, this three-dimensional pattern, which are probably going to be a little bit, to me, a little visually attractive. And, of course, you can get them with little graphics and your favorite NFL team or what have you. But... Uh, I just like that. Looks high tech and flashy. Hey, links to everything that you need in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.